y'all. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm gonna show y'all how I put together my boy Ulysses' uh, YouTube intro. It's pretty simple. It's just a lot of cropping and moving around. I got a lot of good feedback in his YouTube comments, lots of DMs as well. So I decided to do a little tutorial for y'all. So what I did was just use um, pre-recorded clips that I had from old trips, like when we went to China, events meet and greet, um, we went to Long Beach, when we went to LA, uh, Barbary events and you know, stuff like that. So all I had to do basically was just crop everything and put it all in order, which is really simple. Um, the song that I decided to use is by Bad Bunny. I'll put the link in the description. So what I did next was drag the song to the timeline and trimmed it a little bit. So now what I did was I went to my titles folder and I dragged the fade title to the beginning of the clip. And once I dragged it, I clicked on it twice and then that's when I typed in fashion. Um, you scroll down and I went to the font. It's called Beba's New. I'm not sure if I said it right, but yeah, that's the name of the font I used for it. Before I even started recording this, I just put everything in order. So everything that was fashion, I put it all in order. So that way, you know, this tutorial won't be like two hours. So now what I did was go to my glitch transitions and I just dragged it on top of the title layer. And I remove the glitch effect at the end and I just keep the one in the front. And then I just simply just move, played with the layer until you know I put everything that was in fashion behind it. So that way it can separate everything. So this glitch effect that I'm using is free. I found it online. Um, I can try to find the link and put it in the description so that way you guys can use it as well if you want to. It comes with like four different types of glitches. So what I did next was make about four copies of the text. Um, by doing that, it just speeds the whole process up. I won't have to keep making text layers. All you have to do is simply click Command and C at the same time and then Command V to paste it. So once I got everything pasted on the timeline with my layers, um, I simply just switched the name of all of them. And now what I did was I went to my adjustment layer and I added one on top of all the clips and I stretched it out until the end. So now what I did was I went to my effects tab and I dragged the amulet effect to my adjustment layer. And you know, this just gives it a little cinematic look. So what I did now was um, opened up the MLUT folder and then this is where I'm gonna choose my LUT from. Um, the one I chose was Aspen. It just gives me, you know, some China vibes and you can see right away the difference in the clips with that color change. You know, it just makes your clips look really cinematic. So now I want my video to look a little old. Um, I went to my effects tab, then I clicked on Dirt Film and I made two copies and I put them on top of my uh, timeline. Uh, so now what I did was I went to the blend mode and I um, put add on both of them. So that way it can be, uh, it can give it that old film look. But so now I went to my effects tab again and I dragged the 35 millimeter film overlay on top of it. And I went to my blend mode and I clicked overlay. And you can see right away that it looks really grainy. It gives you that old film vibe and you know, it looks really cool. So now I just made about four copies. So I'm gonna let this play for a little bit so I can get a little uh, taste of how it's gonna look. Okay, so now I'm gonna select all my clips and I click the right button. Um, I'm gonna make a new compound clip, save it, and now I'm just gonna have one long, you know, clip on my timeline. I went to my effects tab and I clicked on the VHS effect and I'm gonna drag that onto my compound clip. Shout out to Daniel Schaefer. Um, I got this effect from him. Uh, you guys can go check him out. He's probably like one of the best videographers, editors that I know. So by me adding that VHS effect, you know, and those overlays, it just made this intro look crazy. 
It looks like I used the old film camera, like a VHS camera, but it was just all effects and overlays. Uh, that was the main goal of this intro. You know, we wanted to make something a little more different. You know, we didn't want the intro to look like everyone else's. So the last step I did was I went to my effects and I dragged the green screen subscribe layover. Um, to take that green off, I went to the keyer and I just dragged it on top of it and it gives you that nice look already. Uh, I went to the scale, made it a little smaller so it can fit right in the middle of the screen. Um, so after this, I just played with the clip. I felt like it was too long, so I trimmed it so it can give you, you know, like a faster uh, ending so it won't be so long. And I just moved it around until I got it, you know, right on the spot I wanted to. All right, so, you know, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. I know I suck at talking. Uh, this is my first video ever speaking or even about me. I usually just film people. Uh, this took a lot to do. I probably messed up like a hundred times, but hey, like, you know, you gotta start somewhere. Um, you know, I'm gonna, later on, I'm gonna make more tutorials on how to actually create an intro instead of just showing you how I did it. Um, I kind of sped up the process a little bit and didn't show you everything because if I was to show you everything, it would have been about 10 hours of editing and I know you guys don't want to see that. So, you know, I hope I did a good job. Um, you know, please subscribe and, you know, like my video. And thank you again for watching.